Alright guys, at this point, I'm not even gonna lie with y'all, I am an adult gamer. Yep, you heard it right. I like to spend money on games that I will never ever touch. When I saw Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I knew I had to get it. Because I know there's no way I'm gonna spend 10 minutes on it. 40 hour gameplay? Heck no. I'm just trying to figure out how Cloud gets his hair so high. I have to say I did cry a little when I saw two discs in the box. Because we all know that I have tons of games on the PlayStation 5 that I've never even touched. Yep, downloaded that 100 gig game, never touched it. But dang it, I am a gamer. I'm gonna keep downloading it and downloading it. Now back to the two disc. You know, five years from now, you're gonna lose one of those discs and you're gonna left with the second disc. Then you're gonna try to scour eBay. And you know some guy on eBay is gonna charge an arm and a leg for those. I'm no fortune teller, but I can tell you, the fortune is not great. But that doesn't matter. It all went out the window as soon as I saw Cloud's hair. Yep, there it is. The hair in all its glory. So glad I got this game. But you know what the real highlight is? The recap. Square Enix knows only about 1% of the gamers out there actually completed the first one. So at the end of the day, you ask me if Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is made for gamers like me, I would say, oh yeah, that recap was fantastic. Now I'm going to have to shut down the game and go to bed. It's 7 o'clock, guys. Have a good one.